Hi, my name is Coach Channer. My name is Noah Edwards. And we are here today for our cross country team here at the middle school. My favorite part about being a part of this team is like getting to learn about each other and making new friends. Uh, my favorite part was watching our kids um, develop. They came in having only really ran in a couple of PE classes, only ever ran the mile, and really working up to further distances and kind of honing in on those um, correlations between time and their distance. So this season, I kind of, to start the season, we just did a SCOTUS versus Columbus meetup. I got first there, and then I improved as we went on to better and better teams and slowly improved up there. Had more competition. Yeah. As a team, we've improved by increasing our numbers. So we started off with two runners early in the season and then we worked up to nine consistent runners attending practice every day. Um, and then we really just improved on our overall mentality with um, the sport as a whole, running further than some of these students have probably ran before, and really just kind of building up that teamwork piece. I would recommend um, starting off younger and then working up with our program. The overall goal is to include fifth and sixth graders in our middle school practices, so they'll be working with the seventh and eighth graders who compete. And then in the future, we hope to have fifth and sixth graders um, able to join some of our home meets. The overall goal is to build up our middle school program and then work towards um, increasing numbers and speed and time at the high school level. So we're really working cohesively from fifth grade all the way up to high school with um, our runners. Um, in the years to come, I see us um, developing our program more by increasing numbers, um, especially including that fifth and sixth grade range of students. Um, and then, as I said before, really working towards creating a five to 12 program um, where we get to work with high schoolers. As more years go by, the I feel like the CMS cross country team will begin to grow and develop with more kids. For the, this year was just the very first year that CMS actually participate, participated in one of these events, normally it was just run by our after school program and we wouldn't get to go on any meets, but yeah. We've really grown um, from being just an after school club to now we're a full fledged sport. We're competing at meets, we are working with other um, teams, other grades, and even the high school students to kind of develop that. One thing I might remember or take away from this season is like setting a good pace. You gotta, you can't just sprint off all the start on the, you do that. Okay. It's just as hard. <laughs> One thing I'm gonna remember or take away from this is that is setting a good pace. You can't just uh, sprint off the start right away. You gotta keep up with the others and you can slowly move your way up to the very front. Um, one thing I'm going to take away from this year is some of just the techniques and ideas that the high school is using and kind of bringing those down to the middle school level and starting to incorporate them early on in our training. We're, we're excited um, for what the future holds for our cross country team. We look forward to um, next year and building up our summer program, which is something that will be new this year. We're hoping to invite fifth through eighth graders to join us a couple times during the week in the summer um, to really work on those skills so that when the school year rolls around and we're ready to compete, we have a team that's already started.